Hello, Internet. This is the root. Okay. There's one window manager on Linux that I have not used in a long, long time. No, I should say a good long time. And I miss it too much. Though I've never thought about customizing it, you know? No, I've never thought to try and customize it at all. So, uh... And I can't seem to find a configuration file either. Where is it? Things seem to be scattered since, well, the last damn time they, uh, wrote the fucking man page for it. So, this is what it looks like. Motif Window Manager. If you haven't used it yet, you probably want to. It's really freaking old school. And when I mean it, here it is. Yeah, that's the interface right there. Oh, actually here. X just like what you'd expect. That's the interface. That shows the generic Debian menu, whatever. Now, however, you can't close it. Why? That's your program manager. Something familiar? Maximize. Restore. Minimize to an icon. Same icon. You could still do that. Nothing. Nothing. Except you gotta hold your mouse button. Mind you, that's a feature that's not presented in Windows 3.1. This freaking thing acts just about the same as 3.1. Everything. Can't take screenshots, though. As in 3.1, you couldn't. You need a required a special application. So the new feature of the mouse wheel I didn't discovered rather later. This is the LXD launcher. And about this, I wouldn't be able to really access much. I had to run it. That literally should have been integrated in this. You know? Does it look exactly, this wedge, it looks exactly the same. Same thing, it's just got more functionality than the other one. Anyways, the, the, the only thing is the Alt-Tab task switcher is not the same. And here's what Firefox looks like in a... Let's see, you're trying to view something full screen? Good luck with that. Let's see, uh... Bing.com... Let's see this. Good luck trying to view something in full screen. Good luck. Does not go fully full screen. Because that's the same way as it was in Windows 3.1. You could not put it full screen. So, that's a funny, very funny thing. Because that's exactly what it is. You could not put it in full screen. And, yeah. Maybe with an additional application, you probably could. Oh, yep. That's that old school window manager. Not really much for way of customizing it if the configuration files are all over the freaking place. And it can be frustrating at times because you want to watch a movie full screen. Guess what happens? You still got the freaking title bar and border of the window. VLC player is the same problem. Okay, I'm gonna get you back here and let you see this. Let's see. Where's VLC? There we are. Let's see. Open up a video that I've yet to upload. I'm just gonna open that one. Full screen? No, sorry. You don't get full screen. <laughs> you can't get full screen. Right. Just like Windows 3.1. You luck out. <laughs> Can't quit it.
can't quit it. You close that, you close everything. Anyways, yep. Just as limited, but very and extremely resource friendly. Believe it or not. No. You serious? You wanna see it? You wanna see how much RAM this thing's been using? Nifty, nifty, nifty. Okay. You will see. That's it. That's it. This is the only application that's using that much memory. Oh, you want to sort it by memory. There you go. Firefox. OBS. Firefox's content. The Xorg using quite a bit. Web content. XX Launcher. The Task Manager. The Run application if I need to. Access commands that aren't available. Yes, the video process that's currently right now sound thing which I had to start manually otherwise I wouldn't have sound and you wouldn't even hear this video and that's the terminal in the background that is the window manager tiny footprint isn't it 7.8 megabytes can you imagine now you want to see everything that's running eh, a bit more look how much that indicates wow cool isn't that doesn't show any more detail, but that's a virtual size of how big it could get. Amazing. Anyways. Oh, I can show all tasks. That's why it's not showing everything. Right. Hmm. Anyways. Yep. You want something old school? You don't want to install an old school version of Windows. Use that. The package name is MWM. You can find it in your local package manager. Peace.